بچیم آدم چی ابرونا گین سگم رگ بچیم او ام سینس بیس می ها بنش مدو کلاس پبلک سکول بویز کن چیز ا نیگرو اسپرچل از رانتم یو نو I mean, what's all that about? All that, all that swing low carry on. I mean, do you suppose, do you suppose Barefoot Surfs in Alabama give it the eating boating song when they're bailing <laughs> cotton? I think not. Aye. <laughs> but what about Scotland, Rab? We're no better. We've adopted a war anthem as our song. What's all that about? Exactly. All that send them home to think again stuff and the ward in the faces. It's the same thing, isn't it? Not at all, not at all. That's just, that's just cosmetic wood, isn't it? That's just wood by long trick. That's us just being a wee bit cocky before our usual plucky defeat, you know? <laughs> See, our, our national team bosses would be better disposing than the result of our glorious failure before the game starts. That way we, we could not stay in the pub, avoid all that disappointment push, you know? <laughs> More of the same again, are you? I'll say it again, Nisbet. You're a hopeless case. Aye, that's that's through your eyes, Nori. But but just think how you look to me, eh? I tell you what, see when you die, gonna leave me your arse hole because you're that retentive it's probably never been out the packet. <laughs> well, it has been another nimble evening. Which I have already forgot. Maybe maybe you'll describe it to me tomorrow. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm about to vacate my consciousness. I don't know what's up with him, Ella. He's been like this every single night this week. Vomits all night, but he'll still no go to the doctor. Oh, I know, I know. Tell me about it, Mary. Cause every time his birthday's coming up, he falls into a depression. <laughs> Why is there so much tragedy in the world, Ella? <laughs> Bosnia, Rwanda, Euro 96. Oh, you forget about Euro 96, Jamesy. It was a year ago. Forget about it. They buried my heart at Villa Park. Aye. And if you get paint in the slips, your balls will fall asleep. <laughs> and I am trying to speak on the phone. Mary. Mary. Rob. Oh. Come on. Come oh. on. Get up now. Come on. I'm all right. Come on. I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm all right. Oh, it's not, it's not a drink, Mary. I only had a pint. <laughs> No, will you go to the doctor? Thanks for coming in again so soon, Mr Nisbet. Oh, no bother, boss. No bother at all, no. Twice, twice in a fortnight. <laughs> you must like me. You keep passing me back. Yes. Well, I've got the results of the biopsy you done last week, Mr Nisbet. Oh, yes, the biopsy, the biopsy. What next? A barium meal. Delicious. <laughs> I, mu I must return the compliment sometime. You must come round to my house and have a fish supper, eh? I'll come straight to the point. You have a growth in your stomach. A growth? What, what kind of growth? A malignant growth. Mr Nisbet, I'm afraid you've got... Cancer. Today is a good day for taste. <laughs> And for shrugging off that mood of depression which has been dogging you lately. Loved ones will rally round to offer their support. Are you listening, Key Chops? <laughs> You're being supported, so snap at it. I'm going to be 50. I'll be too old to die young. <laughs> oh, look, there's Rab. He's always good for a laugh and a giggle. You all right, Rab? None of your business. Ah, well, bang goes that theory. <laughs> Rab, did you get the results, Rab? Oh, I mean, I, 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 got, I, got, I got the results, I got the results. Well? Well, here's the, there's kind of good news and there's bad news. The bad news is it's malignant. Malignant? It was the good news. Going to save a few quid and haircuts. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
chemotherapy, eh? Yeah? <laughs> you'll, uh, you'll have gathered I'm trying a wee bit chirpy here, because, you know, it's all to do with positive thinking, isn't it? Positive thinking. I mean, look, malignant growth there. Lose a stone and a half in a fortnight. I tell you, this is the best I've looked in years. Give me a goatee beard and a white linen suit. He's not good like I could pass my Bruce Willis. Enough <laughs> of this plucky banter. In we go. Bill, what's your reckon then? Do you want to go in? Depends. Are you sure? Is that a double buff? Are you no sure? I am sure. And now do you want to go in or, or don't you? I'm no sure. Oh, gosh. Well, you've made me no sure. Look, if you don't mind, you get me. Quack. Up there. All right, son. Oh, all right, Mo. What are you doing? Ach, yeah, I was just bracing uh, some sleeveless Ackland slipovers. <laughs> you know how it is. No. Ah, well, it's, it's a youth thing. <laughs> you and the other store. Aye, right. Who's your friend? Oh, don't ask me. I'm no sure. No! <laughs> Sorry, Mo. She's no usually like that. It's all right, son. It's my fault. I should ask her an easy one. <laughs> I'm telling you, Mary, I think James is losing the police. He started to wear cosmetics. Ay, well, it's the 90s, Ella. What does the men wear cosmetics? No, but you look, they don't. <laughs> Honest to God, he sits about there wrapped up in a line rampant, nibbling shortbread and shouting, Remember Culloden at David Coleman in a question of sport. And this is a guy who can't even remember last weekend. I must be a worry, Ella. Oh, tell me about it. I mean, he's only going to turn 50. It should be me that's miserable. It could be another 20 years before he croaks. <laughs> It's all right, Ella. It's just that, well, I'm meeting Rab. He's due back for another chemotherapy session. Is it still owing that? He was that worried he was going to lose his hair, too. Has he managed to keep it? Well... <laughs> answers that question, don't I? I'll leave you to you, Mary. This is not embarrassing. Cheerio, Ian. Cheerio, Ella. You're not going to adapt to this very easily, are you, Rob? What am I going to do, Mary? There's only one thing for it. Come on. Now are you sure? <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> yeah, I suppose we'd better tell our parents. No, I better. <laughs> we could start now. Look, there's your mother over there. <laughs> Who's that big mocket, stupid looking guy she's with? Eh, hey, well, eh, uh, I've been meaning to tell you about him. But I was saving it for a, a more appropriate moment. <laughs> like when you're chloroformed or concussed or something. It's your dad, right? Hey, allegedly. It's all right. My dad's an asshole too. <laughs> <laughs> Hair today. Some of the names these places give themselves, eh, Rab? Could have been worse. Could have been gone tomorrow. <laughs> Stop that. Come on, hurry up, get in there. Oh, I know, I know. No sense of priorities. Here am I am, with a belly full of slow death. And the only thing that's concerning me is a, is a napper you could shampoo with pledge. <laughs> I mean, it's a scum thing, isn't it? You know, I mean, you can... You can stand it when they repossess your telly or your three-piece suite or that, but your hair. I mean, you tend to assume that's part of the fixtures and fittings, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, you know, make it look as if I'm informed to you, like as if I'm au fait with a world of tonsorial textiles. So, uh, 
That's all be your full range of Irish jigs and misses, is it? I mean, Spike's hen. He's just embarrassed. We prefer the term hair pieces. Well, as you can see, they come in all different colours and sizes and uh, qualities. Uh, for example, now that one you're holding, that is made of human hair. Eh? Oh, oh, no offence, hen, but have you not got in as a wee bit less uh, repulsive? As you know, some folk have hell of a manky follicles, and I don't mind a stranger's dandruff in my pillowcases, no. Mary, uh, oh, pillowcases. If you would prefer another material, I could probably suggest uh, nylon. They're over there. Hello! I think he's found it, Hen. <laughs> yes, yes. That's good. I wish Bud was made of polystyrene, because I'll tell you, I could, I could pull a few in one of these. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take one of them, then. How much are they? £60. Pounds. Boy, 60 quid. Um... Oh, you're all right, you're all right. Uh, what about these? This is just, uh, these are just human hair. I mean, you just sweep that up of a barber's flare, don't you? <laughs> what are these? Well, because it's human hair, they're very expensive. I mean, the prices start from £100. Oh, I think they're a wee bit out of price range, Hen. Hey, Rab, what about one of the free efforts of the NHS? Oh, aye. Why don't we just nick down the pet shop? I'll get a hamster and pump it in the blood frame. All right. But is there nothing you've seen in the shop that would suit your pocket? I mean, surely there should be something. Here, Hen. Here, a pound. Use one of your carrier bags. <laughs> Mind you. Let's go up the road. Mind. Marriage! Keep your voice down. Let's put an idea like that into your head. I've had the single life more. And anyway, me and Natalie seem compatible. Aye. Bath ugly, bath and drugs. Aye, right, it's practical a society wedding, isn't it? Do you, Lord Tamazapam, take you, Lady Smack, to be your awful weddy wife? Aye, hey, what would you want for a wedding present? A prescription? Look, will you shut it? I've got you face the fact here that time's getting on. Gash, you're only 23. No, for me, for my da. Da? What about da? <laughs> That's how you've got in your head. It's a bill wig, isn't it? It's a bill wig. Look! I've got it. I've got it. The colour's in my face. You like it? Good as new once I'd cleaned out that family of mice. What are you got now? Nothing, Uncle Rab. I just thought it was Liam Gallagher there, no? That's enough, you! Yeah. I mean, I know I've got cancer, but well, the doctor says it's getting better. I look, he's practically back to his old self, isn't he? Look, a 46 C and ever. Let's get real. The doctor didn't say you were getting any better, Da. He just said you weren't getting any worse. Well, it all boils in the same thing, doesn't it? Question of positive thinking, boy, positive thinking. Look at me. Is, it, is the waistband half full or is the waistband half empty? Yeah. Half empty. Fiver says you're deed by Christmas. <laughs> Terrible thing he's saying, you. All right, all right, I take it back. Uncle Rab's getting better. Govan's been twinned with Disneyland and Scotland are going to win the World Cup. Sorry, Mary Hen. I put the boot up your feel-good factor there, didn't I? Feel-good factor? Somebody got a dino? It's <laughs> gash. Aye, 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 that's right, damn. I'm thinking about getting married. I see. Have you considered the Boston? <laughs> Rab, it's love. They're going to get hitched. Hitched? Good God, boy, you're only 23. You'll ruin your life. You got hitched when you were 23. Yeah, call me psychic, but I think that's his point. <laughs> and what is the matter with your puzzle? Oh, nothing. I just didn't realise I owed you an apology for ruining your life, that's all. Well, do you blame me? Hey? We well, haven't exactly been living Hello magazine, have we? <laughs> and welcome to the wonderful world of Rab and Mary Nesbitt. Today, Rab talks about his life, his loves, his half a belly and the dampness scullery. 
Because I'll tell you, that is what 30 years of marriage has meant to me, lady. Oh, is that a fact? Well, I'll just step outside your life right now, will I, Rab? So that'll be another bit of dead weight you've lost. So, all in all, you wouldn't recommend marriage then, Dad? Oh, I know, I know. Ungrateful bastard. I mean, it doesn't do, it doesn't do to be too sentimental in my position, does it? To get through this, ah, I've got to be hard, I've got to be hard. Mm. I actually met in this hospital. Casualty department Saturday night. <laughs> Govern equivalent of string fellows, you know. <laughs> Actually, quite a good place to pick up a woman. As long as you didn't mind the gore or slipping the awful. <laughs> yeah. Let's get started again together. Then one night we're sitting in the pub. Realised we didn't have a single thing to say to one another. We knew then it was time to get married. <laughs> And I can honestly say, I have never looked back. Ready, Mr. Nesbitt? Thank God I've never looked forward either. <laughs> okay, doll, let's do it. You mean you're leaving him, Mary? I've tried being supportive, Ella. I have always stood by him, but if that is all the thanks you get, then forget it. I see. Now think carefully, Mary. Is that a mature adult decision? Aye. Good. Because there's a couple of lorry drivers I know up for your Rochdale. I don't want another man, Ella. I'm not ready for another man. Well, I'm. I'm gunning for an affair. <laughs> Do you know, see, Mary, you and I were married before we knew we were single. Our lives were over. But now we've got another chance. It's kismet. We? Oui? Oh, what's up with Jamesy? Chronic depression. The doctor says, with any luck, it could get worse. <laughs> Mary, he could turn catatonic. <laughs> yes, please. <gasps> Mary, God knows I'm no religious, but in a couple of months, Rab could be dead and Jamesy a vegetable. <laughs> I'd say somebody up there likes us. No only up there. What do you mean? All right, girls, can we get you an orgasm? An <laughs> orgasm? Three shots of white spirit with an int of basic. Aye, all right, well, can you make mine a multiple? <laughs> My pleasure. Thanks, Mr. Nesbitt. See you next week. Oh, all right. I'm all right, I'm all right, I'm all right. Vomit, nausea, diarrhea. It's like Lager with the sing song, you know. <laughs> ah! Carter! How are you doing here? I was in getting my head looked at winter. Guy thought I'd catatonia. She has not lying with my eyes. <laughs> Probably it's your arm. Big C, is it? How do you know? That stupid looking hand you read there. <laughs> Cancer, eh? That's really drawn AC Milan away for him, that one, innit? <laughs> I mean, anything else you can adapt to. You know, as long as you've got one working there, you can only have a J. Arthur, a fag or a baby, but that. <laughs> I mean, once Alien 4 starts using your colon as a spicy bean burger. Well, it's only a matter of time before. Oh, there you are, you don't go in a bit of fair, fair enough, Rob, fair enough, fair enough. Anyway, one good thing. You take a bad look off of me, eh? I mean that in a caring way. Oh, come on up the pub. So that's terrible. Uh, both your husbands dying in the same shipyard accident. <laughs> Aye, they, they died trying to save one another. It was a Tuesday night, wasn't it, Mary? Oh, 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 hi, hi. We were at Gutchy to be could hardly even watch EastEnders. Right, I'll get him in. 
I don't like this, Ella. I don't like talking about rab like that. It feels like bad luck. Look, just you charm yours along till we hit the cotton club. Then you can bail it, OK? Right. Charm them along. I must say, Kevin, I really like your accent. Oh, you do? And I'm a bit blocked up, too. I'm, I'm having my sinuses drained and my teeth descaled. It's like I've been chewing dog turds for a week. Look. <laughs> Those old Cary Grant lines, eh? <laughs> Never fail. Hello, Nolly! Hey, 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 I'll get these. <coughs> you got a cancer. Oh, hey, come on. <laughs> joke, joke. Two pints. So now's but still knocking them back like there's no tomorrow, eh? Why, yes, mine host, I do believe I would like a drink. Thank you very much for asking, you vinegar myth bastard that you are. All right, all right, I'm just trying to look after your welfare. You know what the doctor said. Same again, pal. When you're ready. Four orgasms. Four? <laughs> you're going to have one first name break for a cigarette? <laughs> Wait for a blindfold, more like. My mates is all right, but mine has got a face like a burst of tea. See for yourself. <laughs> Her husband fell off a crane. Jumped, more like, if you ask me. <laughs> Poor bastard. Having to sleep with that every night. Excuse me a second, pal, eh? All right, boys. Hi, Hi Jamesy. Jamesy. Listen, I need a couple of handers to sort this guy out. What do you say? Bye, Bye Jamesy. Tap. <laughs> you want to hear what this guy said about their spouses? Same as what we say about them, I don't know. That's not a point, is it? No, I suppose no. Well, only one thing for it, then, eh? Hey, you. Yeah? My pal is going to boot the shite out of you. Excuse me. <clears throat> what ain't that? No, no offence, pal. Uh, this is purely routine, but I, I'm, go I'm going to have to punch your light. <laughs> well, don't look at me. All I hit him with was a withering stare. Dad! Oh, Rob, oh my God, help him, will you? <laughs> Uh, you, you haven't officially met my parents yet, so now seems as good a time as any. Uh, Natalie, this is my da. Oh, right, I'm no piss, I'm no, I'm no, I'm no oh. piss. Oh, right, and, oh, uh, good, you know, this oh, is my oh, mother. Why, um, why, mama, you dirty big Jehovah face divine slimy man? Don't you ever show your two face cutting round cover again, do you hear? I just wanted you to see what you were getting into. <laughs> Anything to say? Anything to say? Just wait till you eat my lot. <laughs> <laughs> But it's for your own good, Rob. Tell him, Doctor. Your wife's right, Mr Nisbet. In hospital, you get the very best of care and attention. I can assure you. Listen, I am not going into the hospital. If I get into the hospital, I'm not going to come out the hospital. So I'm not going in in the first place, right? I think you're being rather alarmist. Well, is that what you think? Oh, well, that's easy enough for you to say, isn't it? Sitting there with your fully functioning belly, eh? I tell you what. I'll stick my horn up your asshole. I'll tell you we've not you. Then we'll talk about who's been alarmist, right? I'll be like, excuse me, you're eating into my valuable quality time. Her nice away to meet with future in-laws, won't you? Sorry to do you at the business, son. But if it's any consolation, when he croaks, I'll probably have a nervous breakdown. You can tender for that if you like. Cheerio. Let me know if he changes his mind. It's a nice room, Mr. Grogan. <laughs> Please, call me Dan. They used to call me quick-tempered Dan, but they only did it once, you know? No, I think this hoose lacks a female touch. You know that essential something a woman brings to her room, eh, Rob? Furniture. That's it. You all right, Rob? 
Ah, I'm all right, I'm all right, I'm all right. I'm in the pink, I'm in the pink, I'm in the pink. So where is, uh, where is Mrs. Grogan, Dan? Ah, well, I don't introduce you to my wife, but she's away doing it at the shops to get a loaf. She's been away a while. When did she go? February. <laughs> Stunning bitch. But she'll be back. She can't resist a wedding. <laughs> Here, let me introduce you to the rest of the family. Most of the Waynes are in hunger strike up at Young Offenders, as you know, but this is the baby of the family. Tweet cake. Coco Pops. Coco Pops! Coco Co Pops are all done. Shut up! You break your heart, Mary. Coco Pops! Why do you call him Tweety? Coco Pops. Coco Pops! Coco Pops! Because he's like a canary. You have to chuck a sheet over him to get up to button his yam. Of course, Natalie is already known. Has Daddy been introducing you to the family, Mr. Mesbitt? Ah, uh, there's just the elephant man in there. I think we'll have met a lot. Jinx! Can you say a few words, Dan? Well, I don't mean to wax sentimental, but this world is a veil of hopeless misery. And marriage, nothing but institutionalised boredom as we stagger on blindfold and ignorant to the grave. <laughs> Kids, congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Wasn't it that long a speech, was it? <laughs> yeah, doctor, what's the verdict? It's cancer. Well, I know that. But what I'm asking you is, will he make it to his son's wedding? Take a look at him, Mrs Nesbitt. I'll be surprised if he makes it to breakfast. I see. I will notify you if there's any change. He's always good for a laugh and a giggle. You all right, Rab? None of your business. <laughs> oh, well, bang goes that theory. <laughs> Rab, did you get the results, Rab? Oh, I mean, I, 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 got, I, got, I got the results, I got the results. Well? Well, there's, uh, there's kind of good news and there's bad news. The bad news is it's malignant. Malignant? It was the good news. Gonna save a few quid and haircuts. <laughs> a wee bit chirpy here because, you know, it's all to do with positive thinking, isn't it? Positive thinking. I mean, look, malignant growth there. Lose a stone and a half in a fortnight. I tell you, this is the best I've looked in years. Give me a goatee beard and a white linen suit. He's not good light. I could pass my Bruce Willis. 
after this plucky banter. In we go. Bill, what's your reckon again? Do you want to go in? Depends. Are you sure? Is that a double buff? Are you no sure? I am sure. And now do you want to go in or, or don't you? I'm not sure. Oh, gosh. Well, you've made me no sure. Look, if you don't mind, you get me. Quack. Up there. All right, son. Oh, all right, Mo. What are you doing? Ah, yeah, I was just bracing uh, some sleeveless Ackland slipovers. <laughs> you know how it is. No. Oh, well, it's, it's a youth thing. <laughs> You and the other store. Aye, ah, right. Who's your friend? Oh, don't ask me. I'm no sure. No! <laughs> Sorry, Ma. She's no usually like that. Sorry, right, son. It's my fault. I should ask her an easy one. <laughs> I'm telling you, Mary, I think James is losing the police. He started to wear. Cosmetics. Ah, well, it's the 90s, Ella. Lots of men wear cosmetics. No, but you lux, they don't. <laughs> God knows I'm no religious. But in a couple of months, Rab could be dead. And James, you a vegetable. <laughs> I'd say somebody up there likes us. No only up there. What do you mean? All right, girls. Can we get you an orgasm? <laughs> an orgasm? Three shots of white spirit with an int of basic. Aye. All right, well, can you make mine a multiple? <laughs> My pleasure. Thanks, Mr. Nesbitt. See you next week. Oh. Right. I'm all right, I'm all right, I'm all right. <sighs> Vomit. Nausea. Diarrhea. It's like Lager with the sing song, you know. <laughs> ah! Carter! How are you doing here? I was in getting my head looked at winter. Guy thought I'd catatonia. She has not rang me in my eyes. <laughs> Probably it's your arm. Big C, is it? How did you know? That stupid looking hind your head there. <laughs> Cancer, eh? That's really drawn AC Milan away for him, that one, innit? I mean, anything else you can adapt to. You know, as long as you've got one work in there, you can only have a J. Arthur, a fag, or a baby, but that. I mean, once Alien 4 starts using your colon as a spicy bean burger. Well, it's only a matter of time before. Oh, there you are, don't go in about it, eh? Fair enough, Rob, fair enough, fair enough. Anyway, one good thing. You take a bad look off of me, eh? I mean that in a caring way. Oh, come on up the pub. So that's terrible. Uh, both your husbands dying in the same shipyard accident. Aye, they, they died trying to save one another. It was a Tuesday night, wasn't it, Mary? Oh, 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 aye, aye. We were at Gutchie's. We could hardly even watch EastEnders. Yeah, right, I'll get him in. I don't like this, Ella. I don't like talking about Rab like that. It feels like bad luck. Look, just you charm yours along till we hit the cotton club. Then you can bail it, OK? Right. Charm them along. I must say, Kevin, I really like your accent. Oh, you do? And I'm a bit blocked up, too. I'm, I'm having my sinuses drained and my teeth descaled. It's like I've been chewing dog turds for a week. Look. <laughs> Those old Cary Grant lines, eh? <laughs> Never fail. Hello, Nori! Hey, 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 I'll get <laughs> Chemotherapy, eh? Yeah. <laughs> you'll, uh, you'll have gathered I'm trying a wee bit chirpy here, because, you know, so to do with... Uh, 
Positive thinking, isn't it? Positive thinking. I mean, look, malignant growth there. Lose a stone and a half in a fortnight. I tell you, this is the best I've looked in years. Give me a goatee beard and a white linen suit. He's not good light. I could pass my Bruce Willis. Enough <laughs> <laughs> of this plucky banter. In we go. Well, what's your reckon then? Do you want to go in? Depends. Are you sure? Is that a double buff? Are you no sure? I am sure. And now do you want to go in or, or don't you? I'm not sure. Oh, gosh. Well, you've made me no sure. Look, if you don't mind, you get me. Quack. Up there. All right, son. Oh, all right, Mo. What are you doing? Ah, I was just bracing uh, some sleeveless Ackland slipovers. <laughs> you know how it is. No. Oh, well, it's, it's a youth thing. <laughs> you and the other store. Aye, right. Who's your friend? Oh, don't ask me. I'm no sure. No! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mo. She's no usually like that. It's no. all right, son. It's yeah. my fault. I should ask for an easy one. <laughs> Tell you, Mary, I think James is losing the police. He started to wear cosmetics. Ay, well, it's the 90s, Ella. Lots of men wear cosmetics. No, but you lux, they don't. <laughs> Honest to God, he sits about there wrapped up in a lion rampant, nibbling shortbread and shouting, Remember Culloden at David Coleman in a question of sport. And this is a guy who can't even remember last weekend. I must be a worry, Ella. Oh, tell me about it. I mean, he's only going to turn 50. It should be me that's miserable. It could be another 20 years before he croaks. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mary Hane. Oh, it's all right, Ella. It's just that, well, I'm meeting Rab. He's due back for another chemotherapy session. Is it still on that? He was that worried he was going to lose his hair, too. Has he managed to keep it? Well... <laughs> Thanks, Mr Nesbitt. See you next week. Oh... Right. I'm all right, I'm all right, I'm all right. Vomit, nausea, diarrhea. It's like lager with the sing song, you know. Ah! Carter! What are you doing here? I was in getting my head looked at winter. Guy thought I'd catatonia. See, there's nothing wrong with my eyes. <laughs> Probably it's your arm. Big C, is it? How do you know? That stupid looking hand you read there. <laughs> Cancer, eh? That's really drawn AC Milan away for him, that one, innit? <laughs> I mean, anything else you can adapt to. You know, as long as you've got one working there, you can only have a J. Arthur, a fag, or a baby, but that. <laughs> I mean, once Alien Force starts using your colon as a spicy bean burger. Well, it's only a matter of time before. Oh, they are, they don't go in about it, eh? Fair enough, Rob, fair enough, fair enough. Anyway, one good thing. You take a bad look off of me, eh? I mean that in a caring way. Oh, come on up the pub. So that's terrible. Uh, both your husbands dying in the same shipyard accident. <laughs> Aye, they, they died trying to save one another. It was a Tuesday night, wasn't it, Mary? Oh, 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 hi, hi. We were at Gutchie's. We could hardly even watch EastEnders. <laughs> yeah, I'll get him in. I don't like this, Ella. I don't like talking about Rab like that. It feels like bad luck. Look, just you charm yours along till we hit the cotton club. Then you can bail it, OK? Right. Charm them along. I must say, Kevin, I really like your accent. Oh, you do? And I'm a bit blocked up, too. I'm, I'm having my sinuses drained and my teeth descaled. It's like I've been chewing dog turds for a week. Look. <laughs> 
<laughs> Those old Cary Grant lines, eh? <laughs> Never fail. Hello, Norrie! Hey, 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 I'll get these. <laughs> you got a cancer. Oh, hey, come on. <laughs> joke, joke. Two pints. So, Nesbitt, still knocking them back like there's no tomorrow, eh? Why, yes, mine host, I do believe I would like a drink. Thank you very much for asking, you vinegar myth bastard that you are. All right, all right, I'm just trying to look after your welfare. You know what the doctor said. Same again, pal, when you're ready. Four orgasms. Four? <laughs> you're going to have one first name break for a cigarette. <laughs> Wait for a blindfold. Here today. Some of the names these places give themselves, eh, Rab? Could have been worse. Could have been... Gone tomorrow. Stop that. Come on, hurry up, get in there. Oh, I know, I know. No sense of priorities. Here am I am, with a belly full of slow death. And the only thing that's concerning me is a, is a napper you could shampoo with pledge. <laughs> I mean, it's a scum thing. Isn't it? You know, I mean, you can, you can stand it when they repossess your telly or your three-piece suite or that, but your hair... I mean, you tend to assume that's part of the fixtures and fittings, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, you know, make it look as if I'm informed here, like as if I'm au fait with a world of tonsorial textiles. So, uh, that shall be your full range of Irish jigs then, Mrs, is it? <laughs> Hen. He's just embarrassed. We prefer the term hair pieces. Well, as you can see, they come in all different colours and sizes and uh, qualities. Uh, for example, now that one you're holding, that is made of human hair. Eh? Oh, oh, no offence, Hen, but have you not got in as a wee bit less uh, repulsive? As you know, some folk have hell of a manky follicles, and I don't mind a stranger's dandruff in my pillowcases, no. Mary, uh, oh, pillowcases. If you would prefer another material, I could probably suggest uh, nylon. They're over there. Hello! <laughs> I think he's found it, Hen. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I wish Bunch was made of polystyrene, because I'll tell you, I could, I could pull a few in one of these. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> I'll take one of them, then. How much are they? £60. Pounds. Boy, 60 quid. Um... Oh, you're all right, you're all right. Uh, but what about these? This is just, uh, this is just human here. I mean, you just sweep that up of a barber's flare, don't you? <laughs> what are these? Well, because it's human hair, they're very expensive. We, the prices start from £100. Oh, I think they're a wee bit out of our price range, Hen. Hey, Rab, what about one of the free efforts of the NHS? Oh, aye. Why don't we just nick down the pet shop? I'll get a hamster and pump it down the foot <laughs> blood shame. All right. But is there nothing you've seen in the shop that would suit your pocket? I mean, I mean surely there should be something. Here, Hen. Here, a pound. Use one of your carrier bags. <laughs> I actually met in this hospital. Casualty department Saturday night. <laughs> Governor equivalent of string fellas, you know. <laughs> actually, quite a good place to pick up a woman. As long as you didn't mind the gore or slipping the awful. <laughs> Started getting out together. Then one day we were sitting in the pub, realised we didn't have a single thing to say to one another. I knew then it was time to get married. <laughs> and I can honestly say, I have never looked back. Ready, Mr. Nesbitt? Thank God I've never looked forward either. <laughs> okay, doll, let's do it. You mean you're leaving him, Mary? I've tried being supportive, Ella. I have always stood by him, but if that is all the thanks you get, then forget it. I see. Now think carefully, Mary. Is that a mature adult decision? Aye. 
Good. Because there's a couple of lorry drivers I know up for Rochdale. They could... I don't want another man, Ella. I'm not ready for another man. Well, I'm. I'm ganting for an affair. <laughs> See, Mary, you and I were married before we knew we were single. Our lives were over. But now we've got another chance. It's kismet. We? How? What's up with Jamesy? Chronic depression. The doctor says, with any luck, it could get worse. <laughs> Mary, he could turn catatonic. <laughs> yes, please. <gasps> Mary, God knows I'm no religious, but in a couple of months, Rab could be dead, and James a vegetable. <laughs> I'd say somebody up there likes us. No one lay up there. What do you mean? All right, girls. Can we get you an orgasm? <laughs> an orgasm? Three shots of white spirit with an int of basique. Aye. All right, well, can you make mine a multiple? <laughs> My pleasure. Thanks, Mr. Nesbitt. See you next week. Oh. Right. I'm all right, I'm all right, I'm all right. <sighs> Vomit, nausea, diarrhea. It's like Lager with the sing song, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. It's not a drink, me. I want my head eat pint. <laughs> no, well, you go to the doctor. Well, thanks for coming in again so soon, Mr. Nisbet. Oh, no bother, boss. No bother at all, no. Twice, twice in a fortnight. <laughs> you must like me. You keep passing me back. <laughs> yes. Well, I've got the results of the biopsy you've done last week, Mr. Nisbet. Oh, yes, the biopsy, the biopsy. What next? A barium meal. Delicious. <laughs> I, mu I must return the compliment sometime. You must come round to my house and have a fish supper, eh? <laughs> I'll come straight to the point. You have a growth in your stomach. A growth? What, what kind of growth? A malignant growth. Mr Nisbet, I'm afraid you've got... Cancer. Today is a good day for taste. <laughs> For shrugging off that mood of depression which has been dogging you lately. Loved ones will rally round to offer their support. Are you listening, Keith Chops? <laughs> You're being supported, so snap at it. I'm going to be 50. I'll be too old to die young. <laughs> oh, look, there's Rab. He's always good for a laugh and a giggle. You all right, Rab? None of your business. Oh, well, bang goes that theory. Rab, did you get the results, Rab? Oh, I mean, I, 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 got, I, got, I got the results, I got the results. Well? Well, there's, uh, there's kind of good news and there's bad news. The bad news is it's malignant. Malignant? It was the good news. Gonna save a few quid in haircuts. <laughs> Chemotherapy, eh? Yeah. <laughs> you'll have, uh, you'll have got I'm trying a wee bit chirpy here because, you know, it's all to do with positive thinking, isn't it? Positive thinking. I mean, look, malignant growth there. Lose a stone and a half in a fortnight. I tell you, this is the best I've looked in years. Give me a goatee beard and a white linen suit. He's not good light. I could pass my Bruce Willis. Enough <laughs> of this plucky banter. In we go. Well, what do you reckon then? Do you want to go in? Depends. <laughs> 